Good evening to all my fellow Africans, good evening to all my brothers and my sisters from Africa as far as you are black African, I say good evening to you no matter where you are. No matter which moment you are, I extend my greetings to all black Africans. I am here today to let all my fans and uh, to let all my loved ones know that my last video I published about uh, the Queen of England that I refused to mourn. I wrote there that Pandemica will not mourn Queen of England. My people, I want you to know that it became a very big problem for England peoples. How did it become big problems to England peoples that Pandemica says he will not mourn Queen of England? By me saying I will not mourn Queen of England is not the problem. It's not the problem for England peoples. But the problem is I try to reveal to the Africans that what that woman have done to Africans, what that woman have caused in Africa, what problem he have caused, she have caused in Africa, what and what have she stolen from Africa, and how she used our forefathers. When I try to reveal this to Africans, then it becomes a problem for England peoples. But I will say it, I swear to God, I will never be afraid to speak out the truth. This is what all I have been waiting for for a very long time. To reveal secret to Africans, and this is what I stand for. By Pandemica saying he will not mourn, when I post it, I said, I will not mourn, Pandemica will not mourn, uh, uh, mourn uh, uh, Queen of England. Then it become problem. Finally, I never knew it will become problems to England citizens. So you already know, right? So you feel that, you feel bad when Pandemica says he will not mourn and when I try to reveal the secret to my fellow Africans. So England citizens feel bad about this. But they don't feel bad when that woman was using our forefathers as a slave. They don't feel bad when that wo you woman is using in the name of helping Africans stealing from Africa. They don't feel bad about that because that is African black people. They don't care what happened to African black people. Then Pandemica care what happened to black Africans. And Pandemica want everything to be stopped. And I will keep on revealing the secrets like this till all Africans start to see white people as the enemy of Africa. Because that's my mission. That's my mission. To make sure that all Africans start to realize that even Europeans or Americans or UK citizens who are living in Africa, they are our enemies. They should not be in Africa. So if by me saying that I don't want to mourn the Queen of England, it become a problem to in England peoples. I will repeat it again. I will not mourn and I will not feel sad and I will not feel bad. Instead, I will be happy. I will be the happiest man. And I'm still the happiest man. And I still remain happy. I am not African leaders and I will never be African leaders. I am not afraid like African leaders and I will never be afraid like African leaders. I will not be coward like African leaders, and I will never be. Never. In my life. Till death, I will stand wherever I stand. I will not move by UK citizens trying to report me. It is not going to be a problem to me. Report me. I am Pandemica, and I will still remain Pandemica. You can't move me. Nobody. In this world have that power to move Pandemica from Pandemica to make him something that he want. No. Pandemica become whoever he want to become. And I will mourn Mohammed Gaddafi. I will mourn Nelson Mandela. I will mourn John Pompey Mangufuri. I will mourn John, uh, 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 this uh, Sekuture. I will mourn uh, Joma Kenyatta. I will mourn Many, many, many more African giants. But I will never mourn any white giant. If the Queen of England is great, is great for Queen England peoples, not for we the Africans, then why do you want Panamaika to mourn? To mourn her? Yeah? Why? Why is it becoming a problem to UK citizens? Why are they reporting me that I refuse? Am I? So if I mourn Queen of England, is this going to go make heaven? That is not going to make her to make heaven. 
I wish wherever Queen of England is can come back and give you people the message he is receiving there. I wish he can, she can do that. Then you, the white people, will know you, are, you people are failure. Europeans are failure. Americans are failure. UK is failure. China is failure. But you will not realize. So one, only this simple thing that Panamaga said he will not mourn. It hurt all UK citizens. I never knew it is going to hurt them. But what that woman you are defending, you the England citizens are defending, what that woman have done to Africa, it never pain. None of you the Afri none of you the UK citizen. It never pain. None of you the white peoples. Instead, you were supporting her of the evil deed that she was doing to Africa and Africans. So today when Pandemaka came out and finally tried to wake up the Africans to make them realize that they should never mourn white when white great peoples are, 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 are gone have no, no black Africans should mourn them so it become a fire inside their body they are reporting me they are, they are doing all such kind of things to see that I am out of their way whatever you people are doing I see everything but don't worry as I give the promise to Africa that's where I will forever stand I will die by fighting for Africa and I will die by defending black color I will die by defending black territory I will die by supporting and and, and, and giving all what I have for Africa I swear to the Holy Quran I will never mourn any white man who is gone I will never no matter who you are it's only African leaders who will see a white man threatening Africa, treating Africans bad. And when that white man is gone, African leaders will mourn. I am not like African leaders. This is what UK citizens have to understand. Panamaga is not African leaders. And I will never be African leaders. I am me and I am leader on my own. If by me saying I will not mourn Queen of England, it become a problem. I said, it is never started yet. This is just the beginning of my journey. Let's see how this fight will end. Report me. Do all such kind of things. Stop reporting Pandemica because you can never destroy Pandemica. Nobody. It's only God who can destroy me. He is the one who make me like this. And he only have the power to destroy me whenever you want. I believe in him because he is the control of everything. He does what he wants. He is the only one sitting in his office. No one command him. He command, but no one command him. So that is the only, that is the only God that I fear and that I respect. But white man will never be my God. If white is a God for African leaders, white will never be a God. For Pandemica. Pandemica will never worship white. Never. If it hurt any white, do your worst. But you can't change me. You can do nothing about me. I am me and I will still remain me. That make me to come live today. To make all Africans to know that. Because of I wrote there that on my video, on top of my video that Pandemica will never mourn Queen of England. It become a problem to them. But by, by, by writing there, by writing there that I will not mourn Queen of England it was not their problem. Their problem was they said I am giving false information. And when the video is circulating, many people were, many Africans were even sending me the video. Where our Queen of England was giving food to our, our, our forefathers like chickens. Where he was uh, using them as designs. Where she was using Africans as designs. Many Africans were sending me these videos. And they said that is false. Is for, for, I'm giving false information. Stop reporting Pandemica Ingalter peoples. If you know you are an Ingalter citizen. And you have been reporting Pandemica. Or you hate Pandemica. Because Pandemica say he will not mourn Queen of England. And I say that's your business. If white man is gone. It's not my business. And I will never feel sad. I will feel happy. I will play my music. I will bust some pain. I will do whatever I want to do. 
to feel happy. You know, when you people do it, you the white people, when you maltreat Africans, you feel like everything is okay. But the Africans will just try to defend themselves and you feel bad about that. When you people use Africa and still use in Africa, how many wars do Engelter is causing in Africa? Still they feel okay. Engelter citizens who are against Pandemica, you feel okay as an Engelter citizen. You feel okay when you see your government making wars in Africa. You feel okay because your family is not there, your civilians are not there. You feel okay. You don't feel disturbed. But when Panimaka came out to say that I will not mourn Queen of England, then that become problems to Ingleton citizen. Then I say that is their business. That is not my business. If it hurt you, do your worst as, an, as far as you are an Ingleton citizen. When my words hurt you, do your worst. But you can't move Pandemica. That's all I want you Ingleton citizens to know who are, uh, who are hating Pandemica because of the words I said. That's all I want you, the Angleterra citizens, to know. You can't move Pandemica and you can't destroy Pandemica. I swear to the Holy Quran. You don't have the power. When you destroy Pandemica any day, that day the world will be destroyed. Believe it or don't believe it. You, will, you think I will sit here and watch Africans to make fool of themselves and I will not let them to be aware of things that pass. To make their brains to revise. You think I will just keep quiet? No. When I saw so many Africans posting it on TikTok, everywhere they were very like, I'm sad or I'm afraid. Some people were even crying. Then I sit and ask myself, why are my peoples, my African peoples, mourning a woman who treat their forefathers as a slave, who murder their forefathers, who use their forefathers? Why? And I feel like I need to come out to remind Africans of the bad deed, the evil deed of that woman they are trying to mourn. And it became a very big problem to Ingleter citizens. Wednesday I will be live to open lines for peoples. I want to have communication with peoples, with African peoples. Whatever African people feels about Pandemica, I want to know. If Africans feel I am doing the wrong thing for Africa, then I will stop whatever I am doing. But if, it, if Africans think I am doing the best for Africa, then I will continue till the world finish. I will be afraid if Africans feel I am destroying them. And I will stop it. Because I will never want to be the destroyer of Africa. I will never want to be the person who want Africa to be destroyed. I never want to be that person. And I will never be that person who will want Africa to be destroyed or who will destroy Africa. I never want to be that person. I want to be the person who will bring liberation and justice in Africa. Who will remove Africa from the hand of the devil. I swear to God, I don't hate any African. If I hate Africa, I will not do what I am doing for Africa. But I see some Africans also against me, joining Engelter peoples, reporting me. They said, you know, uh, God, you know, if no matter what she do, we have to do this because at least God is watching everybody. A person who was treating you bad, he, she never think that God is watching her. And now you think God is watching you. What did you did? As a black African, you never did anything. You are very innocent. Why are you feeling guilty? This is the mentality they give to you, most of the black Africans. They feel guilty while you don't do nothing. The people who are doing devilish work, they never feel guilty. Instead of for these people to feel guilty, they make Africans to feel guilty that Africans are bad. Africans are criminals. I want to tell you, as a black African, please never feel guilty because you never did anything wrong. People who should feel guilty, that is Europeans, Americans, and UK, and, uh, and Chinese, for what they have done to Africa. 
And if, if those people are going one by one, and you as an African, you feel guilty that if you don't mourn that person, that means you do bad. You don't do anything bad. To mourn somebody who is dead is not by force. Why, are they want, why do they want everybody in the world to mourn a, a, a devil? I will never mourn a devil when, he is, when the devil is gone. I feel happy when devils are gone. I feel happy when evils are gone. I feel happy when bad peoples in the world is reducing. I feel sad when good people are gone, like Mohammed Gaddafi, Nelson Mandela, John Pompey Mangufuri, Thomas Sankara, Joma Kenyatta, to, to, to go many more. I feel so bad whenever I remember them. But I don't feel bad when devils are gone. I don't feel bad when my enemies are reducing. That's my happiness. And that's the happiness of Africa. I want Africans to feel happy what happens. Because it's the happiness of Africa. When a person who is tormenting Africa, a person who is making wars in Africa, a person who was making disasters in Africa and still making disasters in Africa, when that person is gone, why will Africa be happy? Why wouldn't we be happy? Why is it becoming a problem to Angleton citizens that we are not mourning their queen? I and my peoples will not mourn anybody. We will not mourn anybody like that we will remain how we are and i want to make this clear to england citizens stop reporting pandemica stop making problems with pandemica because it always make pandemica stronger the more you make problem with pandemica the more pandemica gets stronger the, make you, the more you started to report Pandemica, the more Pandemica start to become more dangerous. The earlier you, the Europeans, Americans, Ingleterry, Chinese, realize this, that this man sitting down here, you can bring him down. The earlier you, the prep, you people realize this, it will be better for you because you will relax and do other things instead of, fight, instead of fighting for fighting Pandemica. You will go and do something valuable in for your life. But by fighting Pandemica, do you know you make Pandemica stronger? Do you even know what you are doing? By saying you are fighting or reporting Pandemica because he refused to mourn the Queen of England and because he was telling Africans whatever happened in the past for Africans to remember before they will make the big mistake of their lives. I will always do this. I will never stop doing this. Now they want me to feel like I do bad thing by saying that word. By coming out to make Africans to remember what happened in the past. They want me to feel guilty about that. But they don't want to feel guilty of the devil they are doing to Africa. They don't want to feel guilty of the evil deed, evil work they are doing in Africa. The stealing, the robbery, our natural resources, platinum, diamonds, gold, silver, every good natural resources in Africa, stealing them. You, you never feel guilty of that. By making wars in Africa, Southern Cameroon, Southern Sudan, Ethiopia, Nigeria, whatever is happening in those places today, you people are the cause of it. Because of the natural resources you saw in those countries and you make wars. Angleterre was the cause was the cause of the war that everything that is happening in Nigeria today. I want every Nigerian to realize this. And Angleterre is the cause of whatever is happening in Ethiopia. Angleterre was the cause of whatever was happening in this place in Southern Sudan. But Angleterre peoples never feel guilty of that. But Angleterre peoples want Pandemica to feel guilty by me coming out to say Africans should be aware of what happened in the past. <laughs> Baby.